easily pierced. Easily. They're not immortals. I don't fear them. But, um, uh, I see them as animals, man. Even though I am an animal, personally. No, I don't see them as animals. Let me, let me tell you a little bit about what I feel. Most people, uh, first of all, I'm an exterminator. To have a point of reference. I am an exterminator. A bug man, as many people choose to refer to me. You know, cockroach man. Most people in this world, I'd say the majority, are cockroaches. Me being one of them. If you look around me, I'm a piece of shit. Okay, I'm dirty, sloppy, fat, disgusting. Okay, I'm a piece of shit. Okay, and the reason why I don't, you know, I'm not interested in finding a girlfriend, this and that, because I'm a piece of shit. Not that I, I don't have self confidence. I mean, that, that's <laughs> that's funny, but um. I'm a cockroach, just like most people. But niggers, niggers are the shit of cockroaches in my eyes. I mean, that's ignorance at its finest. But it's how I feel. Exactly how I feel. And when I see a white woman with a black man, that is. The, the amount of, of chemicals in my in my head that's ignorant and is a stupid and all oh, you that has to be changed because that's not right and politically correct and look what I feel in here is what I feel and that's completely unacceptable to me completely there's less than three percent of white women in this world okay not that whites are better than anybody else okay but to let you know some of the facts to remind myself, 3% of white women in this world that are of childbearing age, 3%, that's it. Now they mix with blacks, that's it. Anything you mix with a nigger is an improvement. You mix a nigger with a goat, and it's an improvement. You you mix them with anything, and it's a fucking improvement. That's how I feel about it. Not all of them are bad. No, there's a lot of good ones. A lot of decent, hardworking people, okay, that do not mess with people. And that's fine. <clears throat> that's fine. Keep to themselves, you know. I don't want nothing to do with them, but hey, you keep to yourself, you work hard, that's fine. I have no problems with it, okay. But these fucking delinquents out there, okay. Many, many times in my in my head, I figure, okay. I figure I'm already full of bullets. But by some miracle, I got another hour to live and fucking full of any weapons I can carry. Fucking kill them. Uh, the, the, the best target, the best target would be a fucking rap concert. Oh my god. Those are the type of people that I would love, love, love to exterminate. You know, I'm gonna die fine, but you are gonna take all you motherfuckers with me. I can fucking use gas, chlorpicrin, I'd use it. I, I, I have access to many, many potentially catastrophic chemicals. And that's my advantage, because anybody can have guns, but chemicals. Very few people have access and have the knowledge to use it, and I do. You know. But anyway, I mean, this is like a, a satanic thing that that she just happens to be with a fucking nigger. That that chain that was holding me to this world. Besides my mother, see, yeah, my mother. I mean, this this sounds horrible, but this chain with my mother is because I feel in debt to her. I owe her. With Bjork, it wasn't. It's not like that. I have this link, this love. I mean, well, that sounds real bad, real bad. I I, I even feel guilty about it. I not caring about your mother, but I, I mean, I do care about my mother, but not really showing any love for your mother and showing love to a complete stranger who don't even give a shit about you, you know, but hey, that's what it is, anyway, this link that was holding me to this earth for each day, let's 
God. Is what I'm doing an act of vengeance because of this? Not, I'm not exactly sure. But, um... Uh, I am going to destroy her. I like the AIDS thing because it's... So, it's sort of poetic, but technically, you want to really get into it. It's much easier than having to go fly over there and stalk her or shoot her or stab her. I don't want to go through what this motherfucker went through, okay? All the trouble that this guy went through, okay, to get his job done. And he didn't even fucking accomplish it. He just fucking destroyed her, of course. I mean, he destroyed her emotionally and the scarred up her body, but... He didn't accomplish what he seek to accomplish. Whether I am or not, is to be seen. Okay. So up to my dedication and my cleverness and whatever. I'll be seen, but yeah. in a way it is like it was like this it wasn't like disgusting. It was like oh when I find that out I was like I heard a movie one time, I'm trying to think what movie it was, he goes, kid, this old man, who had, not old man, but this guy who had a war record, this and that, and these two teenagers were like, oh man, this guy's been in a war, and this and that, he's cool, and let's talk to him, he goes, he goes, kid, don't ever look up to people, because they'll let you down, and no, of course it's true, because she's just human, man, okay, she's, See, I don't see her as human. Okay, I don't, I, I, I don't get. I don't, I don't, I don't get this pictures. Oh, fuck yeah, fuck yeah. I don't do that. I don't see her like that. I see her beyond human. I put her on the pedestal so high that, that you see. And I was thinking about this the other day. I was thinking about this the other day, and it's true, we were talking about it with George, about how we have a natural tendency to worship humans, too. Since the beginning of time, civilizations have been worshiping either one thing or the other, the sun, the, you know, we have that need in us to look up and, and, and to worship. That's, that's it's, it's put in there, you know, by our creator, of course, okay? Now, for some people, it's not, it's not, it's different things. But everybody worships something. You know? For a lot of people, it's money. Oh, that's their God. A lot of people, it's sex, you know, pleasure. That's their God. People always submissify themselves and look up to something. Okay. Uh, you know, so, you know, of course, different extents, you know, whether it being in a religious organization or being in a, you know, a, a, a financial institution or, you know, in a power play struggle, they always worship something, always, okay? We're always looking for something to worship. And apparently in my case, it's her, a human, just like me, an imperfect, fleshly creature. Which I've, I, I've, you know, put her in an angelic status. In my heart. I've never, I've never dreamed of fucking her. Okay. The only thing I've ever fantasized about, if anything, was just bringing her pleasure to satisfy her need. You know, eating her out or something like that. You know, just giving her an entire pleasure, just because you know, fulfilling her earthly needs. I'm not, not fucking her, because I know that I'm not sufficient for that, okay? I have prostate problems, and I got a little dick, and I'm fat, and I have no stamina, you know? I mean, I may, yeah, I may have watched a few a few hundred porns, but to put it into action, I mean, yeah, you, you learn a lot, you do learn a lot, especially eating pussy, and this and that, and techniques, watching, you know, Bob Berkowitz show real, real personal, this and that, yeah, you pick up a lot of things, okay? A lot of bits of information that are entirely useful. But to put it into practice is completely different. Yeah. But anyway, you know, if, if anything, it was just that, you know, just bringing her pleasure, just, you know, controlling her needs so that way she doesn't have to go out and, and, and get that. Okay? And I've never really fantasized too, too much about being in a relationship with her. 
because I can't be in a relationship with anybody because of my emotional condition. So it's very hard to, to pretend I don't have that, you know. <clears throat> I will explain about that later, about my emotional condition. And, but anyway, I see her a lot, a lot, a lot. After seeing the taxi driver for the fifth time or sixth time, you know, seven, I don't know, I've lost count. Okay, I, I noticed something. I said, you know what? That's exactly, exactly how I see her. The way Robert De Niro sees uh, Jodie Foster's character, exactly how I see her. And I said, wow, man. I see her like a daughter. Because you know, a lot has to do with her childlike looks and her childlike voice. And, you know, being so spontaneous and cute and, and you know, I never really saw her, her, as far as her beauty, I never really saw her as, you know, elegant and this and that. She's always been cute and, and, and smiling and, you know, in a way I see her like, like a daughter type of figure. You know, the most I've ever wanted to do with her is just hold, you know, just like, oh, the, I've had many fantasies of just holding her, you know, not being in a relationship with her because, I'm not good for that, but just, oh man, I mean, I mean, I've asked, I, I've, I've mastered the art of self-embracement, uh, you know, just, you know, just let yourself go, and just, you know, her holding me, you know, you know so like, oh, it'll be alright, you know, you know, feeling her lungs, you know, taking the breath of life, and, I mean, spelling it. Okay, I am really fucking pissed off. I just came back from uh, Ralph's house. I had to leave him a uh, machine and stuff, so I stayed and watched a couple of movies. What I'm pissed off about is this right here. I doubt that you can read this, but this is my beeper. And I got two pages. My brother calls saying that, first of all, he asked me very cleverly, he asked me, hey, uh, when you went to go do a uh, Tokyo Bowl, how many roaches did you find? I said, well, uh, I mean, not millions of them. It wasn't super, super infested, but I did find a whole bunch, a whole bunch, and I killed tons of them. He goes, no, because uh, the owner called, and he says that, uh, you know, that you didn't do a good job, and that he doesn't like you, and, and this and that. I said, well, wait a second, wait a second. I mean, he didn't say that he didn't like me, but he goes, no, that he liked the other guy better. I said, well, wait a second. I mean, George himself, he stuck by me because he knows I do good-ass fucking work. When I fucking hit roaches, man, I fucking destroy them, okay? Okay, and this motherfucker, okay, this fucking Chinese motherfucker, Japanese motherfucker, whatever he is, okay? Okay, that's a fucking insult to me, okay?